Put in my workbench. This video should be quick. <laughs> I always say that. Uh, Blackout Bill here want to go over some things I'm learning as I'm researching. Ohms. Okay. We got the 9.9 the .9 horsepower motor. I want to eliminate all the possible problems. So I want to check for spark. I have spark, but the motor don't run right. So are the coils bad? Are they getting too hot? I want to eliminate my spark problem. When you search on YouTube, I'm not a fan of YouTube's algorithm. I get the same effing channels every time. And I'm like, that's not the question. I'm not trying to ask it a question. You could Google it and read about it, but I'm not getting the dang answer I'm looking for. So if you have this question, I'm going to answer it for you. You may never see it. You're going to have to search till you're blue in the face. But if you found me and it answered your question, great. This is an outboard coil. Now, they all look different. Yada, who's it? What's it? Nobody cares. So. My first question was, do you have to take the coil off the outboard to test it? Couldn't get that answer. I don't have that answer. I only took them off because they were easy to come off. Maybe I'll put them back on the motor and test them on the motor, see if I get the same result. Okay, then you get, it should be on this setting, it should be on that setting. I don't have that answer for you. It's starting to sound like I don't have any answers for you. Couldn't get it freaking answers to what setting it should be on to test these stupid coils and the one video that comes up every time I search about this problem I get the guy with the meter that's not digital and I don't know what the heck it reads I don't know what it's supposed to say I'm sick of watching stupid video it didn't answer my question the first time didn't answer my question the 30th time I, I searched it so I'm not a fan of that freaking video the channel's good the guy's hysterical does great work it's not answering my question anywho so what is the setting I used? 2000, OHM, Omega, red lead to this guy, not the DC, that's the unfused. This is the one that's fused, got a fuse in the middle. Black is always in the black com. This one on this one, you should be able to see that. Uh, that's where they go. First check with it on 2000. Get you over there. With you on 2000. Put the red to the little guy. This is supposed to be the primary. Not really sure what that means. And one of the things over here is the ground. Shouldn't do anything. Should stay at one. Next test. Doesn't matter which way. One to one. One to the other. And you get nothing. Another reason I don't like. I also think this multimeter stinks. You, sh you should get a reading. So my leads are might not be. These are brand new out of the box by the way. I think my multimeter sucks. So. Okay there we go chart says for uh, an 80s 9.9 .9, 15 horsepower I think it's all the way up to 40 horsepower I actually have the chart on my phone 200 to 400 253 bam good coil next coil same thing should be one there we go now we're getting a reading point or no it's a zero zero one you should get zero zero one when you do that one to one one to another again 250 anywhere from two to four hundred so we're good there. That's a good coil. That's all I wanted to know. What setting, What? where to put what, what should it say. That's, it took me hours, hours of playing with my leads and my meters, my second multimeter. The other one didn't work right. I had the points. I was trying to, here you go. Here's the leads. I'm trying to stick the point on the thing. They're sliding off and the thing's all over the place, making me crazy. Anyway, that's what you're supposed to get. Get these alligator clips. Makes it really easy. Ba boom, boom, boom. 250. Good coils. I know my coils are good. That's how I tested the coil on this outboard. If you have any questions, put it down below. I'm going to start answering some easy questions and some quick, easy vids. And uh, hopefully that helps you. See you in the next video.